Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2016 in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Dietmar Faltek, who is Executive Vice President of Radio Monitoring for Rodin Schwartz. Dietmar, thank you very much for being in the studio today. Yeah, it's a big pleasure. Welcome. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about spectrum monitoring. We've been hearing a lot about spectrum monitoring, but perhaps for the uninitiated, you could tell us exactly what that means and why it's so critical to industry development. Well, thanks for the question. Well, spectrum monitoring is essential for everything what has to do how is the spectrum used in a country. So, is the, the frequencies you are using for TV transmitters, for mobile communication equipment and, and transmitters, is this in the probably frequency range? Is it uh, efficiently used? So, you are measuring, the, let's say, the, the spectrum and you are allocating what kind of uh, base stations or transmitters are where and is it sufficient for a certain region. So this is spectrum monitoring means how good is the coverage in a certain country. Why is it so critical? Yeah, it's, um, well, everything is about communication, you know. Wireless communication, you want to get your voice uh, transmitted, your data, you want to have internet access everywhere. So. If you want to build up an infrastructure for an industry, you want to have a good communication there. Yeah. Of course, you have sometimes fixed lines, but nowadays everything is relying on wireless. So it's essential to have everywhere a wireless connectivity. And also the users, your customers want to have an access to. You know how you're from, from your daily life, you are, let's say, Google all the way and all around the world and you'd want to get access to, to the internet everywhere. So it's a good thing to have, let's say, your information as an industry that is spread all over. And therefore you need wireless communication and therefore you need as well a coverage. So that's why spectrum monitoring is so important in order to know where is a good coverage, where is maybe a lack of coverage and you, you have to fill it with a new transmitter. And uh, something else I know that you're involved with is mobile network testing. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about that. Well, there's spectrum monitoring on the one hand side, means I know roughly where my base stations are, how, let's say, uh, how efficiently is the frequency used. Mobile network testing is a bit more. Mobile network testing gives you and a message how good is the quality of the signal. Uh, so in spectrum monitoring we said, okay, there is a frequency used, but maybe it's interfered. Maybe there is, I don't know, uh, because of some mountain area, if there are some reflections. So even if the frequency is there, you cannot communicate. So mobile network testing is, gives, gives you the possibility to really test your network. So it, you're, by driving around, you have equipment who is measuring the quality of a transmission, of voice, of data, of internet, and also gives you, um, if you have two, three, four systems in parallel, it gives you a good, let's say, uh, combination of network one, excellent, network two, to improve, and so on. So it gives you a good idea, or the regulator, for example, who good is the quality of the different networks. So spectrum monitoring, just giving you the frequency, how good the frequency is used, and mobile network testing is giving you the quality of the network. Now, there's been a lot of talk about digital economy. I wanted to find out from you, what do you think are the driving factors behind that? A bit to the first question, you, you did ask, what, why is, do we need spectrum monitoring? Again, you want to have voice data, you want to have internet access, you want to have it fast, you want to have it reliable, you want to have everything, uh, let's say, with high data rates. Yeah? So in order to, to manage that, you need spectrum. Yeah? In the past days where we all talked about analog, yeah, you've got your voice maybe transmitted, but uh, it starts a, a bit complicated if you want to go uh, in, into data transmission. So digital means you can much higher use your frequency spectrum. So you, it is possible with the right technology to transmit 100 megabits per second. And I think that's, that's what the, the need is. The driving factor is the, the customers, they want to have 
everywhere access to the internet or the, the, to the data. And that's, that's what's driving everybody, you know. Now, uh, in terms of uh, being here at uh, ITU Telecom World 2016, it's not your first time here. I know in, I mean, Roland Schwartz have been here and uh, supporting the event many, many years. I wanted to ask you, what's the value of attending events such as this? Well, we are uh, ITU members since 50 years, so um, we are proud to be here every year. And, um, and I think one of the, let's say, messages I, we as a company want to give is we are here. You can talk to us. Uh, we, are, we are a technology leader, and uh, the, the technology we are using is not, not always easy. So ask us what can we do in order to improve your network and so on. So our intention is to have networking. Yes, this is one of the big things. And the other thing is to give, let's say, we have a booth here. We show our latest equipment. So, and to introduce this equipment to sometimes uh, people who do not know us is also very helpful. So it's, um, I would say it's somehow a win-win. We, we give some technology know-how to the people who are attending uh, to the seminars and, and uh, so we do also delivering some speeches sometimes. Or let's say we can show our equipment to the people and uh, make and generate some business. Well, we wish you the very best for the rest of the thank you year. Thank you very much. Show, and thank you very much indeed. It's a pleasure. Thank you.